civilians from Horsell Common, Britain, would be the first to know about the aliens that would start the war defining the 19th century. They were no men. Rather, they were repugnant brutes. Ah, they're no men. They're free. A crowd of people began to gather around this concave in the ground, not expecting the next assault of the Martians. It turns out the Martians were, in fact, murdered. And more people gathered here. to you by the Union Jack News Station. After a British militia failed to exterminate the Martians in the concave, they have since elevated to the size of giants via their aluminium tripods. They have driven a new militia to the River Thames, close to our great city of London. Many of these soldiers and people have willingly dove into the river. However, not all is lost for the humans. In fact, we have made an interesting and useful discovery. If artillery shells are fired at the extraterrestrial tripods, their aluminium bodies will eventually collapse on themselves and cause them to fall. Ah, uh, how sweet the rejuvenating system. feeling of hope is. No Unfortunately, it is also a bit hypocritical. Most of them have landed, and not only they are extensively wielding their all powerful heat ray, they have introduced a new deadly weapon. It emits a nearly liquid like type of black smoke that kills a person whenever one breathes in it. Nearly everyone has been evacuated from their homes. Houses destroyed, business buildings demolished, and bodies laying around aimlessly. This is the destruction of London. Where will the Martian attack next? And now, a special report from Bring Food. We have further investigated the anatomy of the creatures from Mars. They are basically grey blobs with no apparent differentiation between their heads and their bodies. They have no noses, and their eyes are huge and black, with a biggish mouth underneath. A small ear lies on the backs of the Martians, and they wield 16 slender tentacles next to their mouths. They contain large brains in their bodies, with large nerves connecting to their eyes, ears, and tentacles. They do not consume anything except the fresh blood of other organisms, which they do not even digest. Instead, they inject the victim's liquid into their veins. They seem to have no fluctuation of emotions pertaining to their health, and they neither sleep nor have to pre What a vivid account of the Martians market. by brain food, considering the little information refugees and others could gather about them. They even see blue the fear of the Martians black. would continue to fog the air in Britain, but soon it would vanish. Breaking news! The Martians are dead! They were spotted eating my dogs and birds at their London settlement. But, you may ask, while no army could have defeated them, what did? There is no official scientific evidence to prove this, but the most logical reason for the Martians' fall is terrestrial bacteria. Mars does not contain any microbes, and just like the Native Americans that were wiped out due to the introduction of the common cold, the Martians may have also suffered greatly due to the micro massacre. But, but, the Martians are dead! Well, yes, 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 Britain is back, and I'm already seeing business starting back up, and many of the refugees are returning back to London. They're ragged and definitely look like wayfarers. However, every single citizen is eagerly awaiting for the rejuvenation and reconstruction of London and the entire country of Britain.